This episode is brought to you by 20 Past 4, your one-stop vaping head shop. They get new stuff weekly. Stop in and check them out. Four locations, two in Great Falls, one in Helena, one in Billings, and Guerrilla Warfare Apparel. The best gear in the fight world. Join the Guerrilla Gang in 2023 because we are taking over. Be sure to use our code TWB10 for 10% off at checkout. That's TWB10 at checkout. And Jamie St. Mark's. Who's ready for the weekly bust? You're in the right place if you came to catch the show. Tithe and Levi are the names of your host. Who the next guest is, I really wanna know. Conversation escalate, let's get to the show. Who's ready for the weekly bust? <laughs> Welcome to Weekly Bus Season 4, Episode 7. There you go. That was Hello, fine. Boys. That was fine. Was that the intro? That was the intro. That's fucking real. That, that, that was dog shit. Let them know. What's up, baby? What up? Y'all good? Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, <where's the> <laughs> now? Yeah, we're fucking <laughs> guerrilla warfare <laughs> shit. You're fucking hey. goons over there, man. We had a slight interruption, bro. Yeah, yeah. Should I or should I say corruption? Let's get it on. <laughs> corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have uh, we have Eric joining us. He, uh, he's going to be sitting in with the studio today. He's our good homie. He's always in on the motherfucking episodes. He's the guy we always say that asks the good questions in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much can you fit? All right. We got Shane, how's Cali, man? How's the weather, baby? Yo, it's straight, man. I mean... If you're paying this much in taxes, the weather better be fucking good. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Damn Amen. Right. <laughs> Yo, I believe that. That's the hardest line of all year, bro. <laughs> I'm about to fall off the face of the earth. I better be getting uh, yeah. sitting nicely, baby. Oh, sure, property. Yeah, that's what I, I, I told him that this morning when I talked to him. That drippy fucking warfare. That's like that he, graffiti. He's a gang member, dog. All right. So Gorilla. Shane Smith, where are you from? And who are you, my man? Yeah. California, bro. I run uh, Guerrilla Warfare Apparel and um, Guerrilla Warfare Management. So, yeah, we just got into the management side of shit, like, you know, a little bit ago and uh, merged with Slaughterhouse Management. So, we got, like, fuck, over 40 fighters, on B- active fighters in BKFC on the squad. Over 40. Hey, you got some dope ass gear, by the way, bro. Like all your shirts and shit are lit, bro. Like, thank you, brother. Y'all got some good shit. That's a from a consumer aspect really, too, man. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, what got you into uh g- getting into all the clothing and shit? Like, what was your come on, man? Like, what what part of California did you bring up in, and how was the upcoming? And like, like, what was your life like? What? Who is Shane Smith, bro? Well, I'm I'm from Southern California, man. I mean, I've been a combat sports fan my whole life. You know, die hard. Um. Being 36, I got lucky. I got to grow up in a, in a really good era of boxing. Uh, so that's that kind of got me into it. Uh, you know, watching Tyson fight and, you know, De La Hoya, Shane Mosley. Um, that's my era too, bro. I'm a fucking massive – I'm a boxing fan for sure. Like, like that's, that's one thing I can correlate with you absolutely is that you'll hear me say it a lot on the show. I said I'm not really into the MMA shit. I'm a real big boxing fan. Levi yeah, is our, science, our bro. MMA head. Yeah, I'm... sweet science. That's what it's about. I mean, I I watch a little MMA. You know, I, I mean, I, you know, they got a good card coming up tomorrow. That, that that you know that one's interesting. But I don't know, man. I mean, watching like the old school UFC with George St. Pierre and all that shit. Like watching him fucking lay on guys for five rounds. Yes, he's my was... favorite MMA guy ever in history, bro. I still, so I still have dreams yeah. of him coming back. I think he's that's hum- happening. Yeah, that happening, bro. <laughs> he's yeah. humble, man. He's just, you know, I mean, he and he he was levels above everybody in wrestling. He made it look easy. Yeah, well, and people said that about John Jones, and here we are, man, signing an eight fight deal or some shit, right? What was it, eight fights? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah fight. fight. Stupid deal, bro. Uh, like, did they just know how much that was worth? Did anybody catch that? No, not yet. Uh, I you? haven't seen anything about it. No, no. Shane, what's that? Uh, the price tag on that fucking eight fight contract with John. Did you catch no, it? No, I haven't seen. Sh- I don't think they released that shit. <laughs> I've, I've been wondering about that. Hey, Yo, they're literally doing nothing but pushing slap boxing, bro. That's all the fucking UFC is doing right now. Clown right. shit, bro. And they won't fucking, uh, they won't legalize it in Vegas. I know someone else is taking They won't legalize fucking bare knuckle, bro, in Vegas, but they just did that. Yeah, that's fucking ass. trash, bro. Yeah, I don't fuck with it, bro. Watching these dudes who don't train at all just go to sleep night after night after Step night up with to the mic. concussions. Hey, I got a question for you. 
uh, Javante, Ryan Davis. Who you got? Tank. Yeah, all day. All day, all day, all day. Yes, sir. That's easy work, bro. Yeah, nah. It's going to be a – Yo, my dad is convinced yeah. otherwise, man. He hard, He's bro. a believer in Ryan, bro. He's like – I just – he's like – both of them, but Tank is – But I think my dad's a secret Oscar De La Hoya fan, <laughs> to be honest with you, dog. Uh, the, the way I see it, man, stylistically, it's a bad matchup for Ryan. I mean, I know he's got <laughs> some power and shit, but – he don't have no head movement. He's flat-footed. He's, I mean, if Tank catches you, you're going to sleep. I mean, you saw what he did to Leo Santa Cruz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tank Davis is uh, uh, he reminds me of a hybrid fucking Mayweather man. Um, Mayweather. his his defense is a lot like Mayweather's. I mean, he's obviously Mayweather's protege, so it makes sense. But like the way he moves and operates, he mimics him really, really well, man. He's I got Davis with, all the way. He's not with money team no more either that's just kind of weird i i that's two that fights it's two fights but is, is it noticeable absolutely i think his last yeah. fight looked goofy as fuck bro yeah i think without hit without fucking mayweather in his corner he looked weird dude he, well, i think yeah. the mayweather was more of his uh mentor yeah he would drive him though you know what i mean like he wouldn't let him for his big fights he, he wouldn't let him do camp outside of las vegas like he wanted to make sure because Tank, you've seen Tank show up fat and lazy before, bro. Oh, yeah, you man. Know, He's a Baltimore kid, man. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, you're not getting out of it when Mayweather shows up at, this, at the door in the morning to pick your ass up to go to the gym. That's right. Yeah. So when you say Southern California, what are you talking, L.A.? you talking San Diego? Uh, what part of Cali? Yeah, just, in? just north of Los Angeles. Nice. Okay, okay. Um, uh, what, uh, Who's your heavy influence in hip-hop? Who do you think owns the West Coast? Who's the king of the West? In your opinion. uh well, I mean, I, I actually like uh, I mean, old school '90s rap. You know what I mean, Tupac, and and I'm actually a big Biggie fan. Um, nice. and that's East Coast, but I think Biggie. Won I, oh no, Big uh, L took it. Big L took that one. Have you seen the? Uh, Never mind. Never mind. Top ten rappers of all time. Hold on, hold on. Let me let him answer that. I want to hear his uh his fucking rapper. Okay. Who is it? Who is it? Who's the king of the West? In your uh, opinion, king of the West. I mean, I mean you gotta say Pac, man. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, but I know people that say I, too short, though. And, and yeah, that's people say too I, short. People, I mean, newer guys say Nipsey Hustle. I mean, you know me. There I, for I a while, it was the, there for a while. It was the game. He was the only West Coast rapper out. I love the game. I, I, I don't care what anybody says about the game, but I love I love the game, bro. He does yeah, some so weird I mean, ass shit. Don't get me wrong, but he's hood, though. You know what I mean? That guy's hood, and he's they're all, they're all for twenty they're years. All great for their time for their eras. You know what I mean? And they're definitely different styles of rap. So. I was just talking. I think West Coast rap is my favorite rap, bro. I don't think there's anything close to it. I'm a huge fan of Fools Gone Wild, and I like the raps that Little Mister E does. And uh, shout out to Fools Gone Wild and those guys. They've been sharing our shit, man. And they got a huge fucking following, dude. They reached 11 million last. Yeah, it's fucking last insane, months. bro. So shout out to those guys, Little Mister E. I love the raps that he does, and he has that true West Coast sound, dude. I fucking love it. My kids are obsessed with it. I have to hear that shit every day. Who <laughs> <Vanilla. laughs> Hey, he know he's oh, gone, God. Dog. So, um. Name some of your it kind favorite. of depends on where you where you're from in California too, though, man. Because there's guys like Bay Area dudes, you know, like you, they um, don't need to sell records outside of the Bay Area. You know, I heard a rap guy one time. I think I don't know if it was um, uh, Andre Nicotina or somebody uh, in a, like they were, they, were, they were having an interview and they're like, we don't need to fucking sell records outside the Bay to make money. It's yeah. like we have such a strong following in bit in the Bay alone. Like they're like, we don't need to do that. We made so much money selling records here that we don't need to suck like like sign a record to anybody. Well, like E40, uh, 40, yeah, no, he's Dre. another one. Yeah, he's just such a pillar, man. Mac Dre, Mac yep. Dre was was huge for for the Bay Area. You know, I mean, I think Mac yeah, Dre, is the, he's the king of the Bay, bro. Yeah, Mac Dre, hands any down. Rapper I ever met from Cali, or any person I ever met from Cali, Mac Dre is they. Yeah, that's that's the dude, bro. That's the man. Uh, Levi, you had a great question. Go ahead, bro. We interrupted you. Uh. You said no, what were top ten rappers? Is Jay Z? Is that what you're talking? About? Nope. Oh, okay. No, my no, no. I thought Levi was all like, uh, "What was it?" That's crazy. Jay Z is. I don't remember. Top ten of huh? all rappers. Shane, so, uh, so how did you and uh, Ryan Perez hook up anyway? Um, actually, I think just our visions kind of aligned, man. And uh, you know, we get along really well, and we kind of have the same vision for where we're trying to go and where BKFC is going. Um where the fighters are going, um, you know, so it was easy. We just vibed from day one, bro. And, uh, you know, I flew out there to, to go watch the show at the Hard Rock, linked up with them. I mean, we kicked it the whole time we were down there. And I mean, that dude's family, bro. He's 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 solid as they come. 
Perez is the man, dude. Fucking shout out to Ryan, bro. I got that same exact love from him, and we tried to show him out up here. We don't have it like that, though. You know, we don't have that fucking lifestyle up here. But we took you to the four mains. So. We, we did what we could. Mains, and uh, you know, Gogo said he had a blast. He can't wait to come back. And uh, yeah. I developed that that kind of that same kind of field relationship with Ryan. I think uh, yeah, that... those guys are all good people, man. That whole squad, you know, they, they made us feel like family from the time we got there. You know, so uh, yeah, we, Florida we feel really like that. Well. I, mean, I just feel like Florida people take you in, bro. They're really accepting towards motherfuckers, dog. Like. Like they, I think they feel, and maybe they, if they, maybe it's a hospitality thing. I don't know, but it's fucking cool people, bro. Yeah, I dig, I dig Florida. I, I like going out there. Well, we'll be back out there uh, in March for the Del Rey show. Hell yeah! Ah, oh, nice, dude. We just talked about that, dude. The South Perry is generous. Bro. We just had, we just had your boy on here, man. He had some good things to say about you. Who's that, Richie? Oh, yep, yeah. yep, yep. He, uh, yeah, he, Richie's a solid dude, bro. Richie's a good dude, man. That's, it's about to be strap season for him, too. We're going to work him through some, through a couple of fights and get that gold back around his waist. And I have no doubt he'll he'll have it on by the end Oh, of he's the year. determined to get it. Oh, uh, he's too. fucking dialed in, bro. There's not no many yeah, fighters that you talk to. I talk to him talk very to. frequently. Yeah, there's not many fighters you talk to that sound like that guy, man. Like legit. Yeah, yeah. No, he's he's locked in, bro. He's, you know, he's got a bitter taste in his mouth. He's ready to do the damn thing. There's no doubt. That, that, uh, shout out to his shop, dude. That shit was tight as hell. Oh uh, uh, no, dude! His fucking his car shop is insane. Yeah, that, that thing's badass. Yeah, I like the little tour we got on the fucking episode. Um, what what other big you you know you got you got the angler fight? What yeah you got you got a, a lot of people on your roster that you might want to shine some light on that for those who watch the show. Um, because uh, you're, the, you're the man to fucking showcase who you got coming up in the future and what are the big fights to be looking for. Yeah, so I mean, here coming up we have uh. Well, I mean, obviously we have Jared Grant, right? You guys yeah. to that one? Oh yeah, Jared Grant about to Jared Grant's about to shock the fucking world. You yeah. um, and then we got uh the weekend after we got you know Drew Angel Corby looking to go three and zero against Dave Bosnick. He's a fucking uh, savage too, by the way. If you guys haven't yeah. seen him fight, check out some of his older fights. Angel Corby, yeah. Dude. Drew's a fucking dog, bro. I mean, he got fight of the night in his first one, and then you know he, he got a clean knockout on Van Vo in his second one, and. You know, I think that his forward pressure is going to be too much for this guy here coming up on the 24th, too. He's That dude's a fucking animal, bro, and he lives in the gym. Um, Bryce Henry's making his debut that night. Um, on 24th? When you see Bryce Henry. Okay. Bryce, Bryce Henry out of Slaughterhouse. When you see him, just, just remember I told you so. All right, then. Noted. And That's then, uh, that on the show, too. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Blake Lucchese, too. He's fighting on that same card. He's with us. Let's go, dude. Damn, that's a and good then, uh, right there. And then Delray Beach, we got Howard's fighting. Howard Davis is fighting. Uh, Howard Davis is actually fighting one Who? of our guys. They're going yeah, can you announce it? Or I mean, I, I know that you won't do it, but like, does he have his fighter picked out? Yeah, yeah. He's, fight, he's fighting a guy that, that uh, is on our roster, too. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He uh, the guy he finds a debuter, but he's got like uh, seven MMA fights. Uh, he's solid, bro. He's 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 coming out of Knoxville, Tennessee. His name's Trevor Morris. I think it will be a good fight for him to bounce back on. Yeah, yeah. So he's fighting. Um, you know, Richie's fighting. Obviously, um, this will be his 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 comeback fight. Um, uh, so him and HD are both looking for fucking revenge in there, bro. You know. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, we got Josh that Richie fucking fighting. Night was wild, dude. That was a good ass hole. Yeah. That fucking yeah. was crazy night, dude. What was the dude from South Carolina? The master of the night, the one we were talking about. Hey, Mundell and uh, uh, that's who you're you're thinking of, Dave right? Mundell. And yeah, it was man, shocked man, the fucking man, world, bro. Yeah, I was at that one. That shit was crazy. Was that what? Is I that think that, that was Dave, bro. I think that's the Dave Mundell. Yeah. yeah that shit was crazy, dude. We could have fucking and believe then, it. Uh, we got Zach Kalmus on that Virginia card. Um, he's fighting on the Virginia card on the 24th of March, and so okay. is um, so is Reed, the guy who just fought Soto. He's back on. Yes. He's he's fighting. He's fighting on the 24th of March as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, we just signed, we Hard. just signed a bunch of quite a few people, man. We just signed uh, John Chalbeck. Um, you know, he's gonna be a fucking he's gonna be a problem at 145. Um, Mel. Yeah. Uh, uh, we got Melanie Shaw. She's one and zero from the UK. We just signed Martina Kroll. That's gonna be the next 125 pound women's champ. I promise you. 
Ooh. Okay. That'll be a good if one. She will. I mean, one? 63 what is... Yeah, repeat it, please. Martina Crow. Martina, Martina Crow. Crow. All Christine right. Faria is Christine Faria is gonna beat the shit out of Beck Rollins in April. Duh. Yeah. yeah, that's a, what you know. That was you know. I'm happy. I'm not, I'm gonna get weird here. Don't mind me, boys. But I'm glad. I, I'm glad that fight was pulled, bro. Uh, yeah. That for for Christine, um, because she she doesn't deserve the bullshit, and you know what I mean. Like, no offense, but no, I'm gonna say to dump all that money into camp and not work yeah. and do all this shit to get pulled. I mean. That's the fight game, though. You know, shit happens like that, and you can't control it. So you just got to take it on the chin and move to the next one. She's oh, got a great matchup coming up. I mean, as far as the as the money goes, right? I the mean, money's there, a, dude. Yeah, if that's she a wants big to name. Consider the money, yeah, but that's not the match yeah. she wanted. No, nah, but and but um, that's the match she actually was supposed to get in Albuquerque, but they couldn't figure out the dollars. But um, then so then they brought in this Thailand person, uh, <laughs> and then uh, but you know Dave will take care Locations of rotations person. Person. Yeah, person. Yeah. Yeah, Rufio Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Rufio! Anybody yeah. know that? had a hook? <laughs> All right, Eric's got one for you. Yo. Who do you got, Jugger Richmond? He, well, this is obvious for him. I know. <laughs> yeah, we're rolling with the jug, bro. I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, uh, Jugger. Hey, G-W-A what about the meme versus, today? It's GWA versus Lions Not Sheet, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I woke up. I chose yeah. violence this morning, dog. I put that meme out. I was like, fuck it, dog. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Hey, that's how they found out that balloon was from China. That bitch had a Lions Not Sheep logo on the side of it. Was that funny as hell, though, man? <laughs> he says, get this shit off me, brother. Yeah, he... Yo, yeah, that so they signed, on the they signed right me, now. Bro, so. Shane's the first person we've had on the show that will openly say that he's going for Jug because everyone's saying I ain't betting on no one on that fight. That dog. is true. We've been we've been saying it forever though. You know what I mean? Like we, we told Mike that. Yeah, we told Mike to his face. I was like, I'm sorry, dog, but I, we I just like, got we Jug. Like, we like you, but I yeah, we fuck with you, jug. but we we got Jug. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I think I think Jug and I handles them. I mean. I, I don't think that uh I don't see Richmond coming in any better shape than he did in the Doolittle fight. He's he's coming in even heavier. I mean, I mean, you know, Juggernaut weathers the storm for the first two rounds. Richmond's in deep shit. And if he Francesco had a really good fucking like point that, though, man, he's all like the durability of Mike might be there. You know, he doesn't have. I'll you know, say this: weekly bus not included. He'll be back in the strip club managing that shit, bro. <laughs> He's like, that's all air, cut. <laughs> He's all, he's like, oh, nah, God. I mean, he's like, that's fucking funny, bro. I just, I feel like if, if Richmond takes the shot, half the shots he took in the do little fight from, from Jug, he, he ain't, he ain't gonna be standing. Jug's too much. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, yeah, he's in deep shit. That forward pressure, that, again, yeah. that forward pressure is going to be one different. maybe two round fight. I guarantee you. We got another one for yeah. tomorrow's fight. Who you got? Is he or uh, Islam or fucking um, Volkanovski. Volkanovski? Nah, I'm wrong with Volk, man. Shut Me too. World. For real. Yep, yep. I just think he's good. I think he's a I'm fucking savage, Volk, bro. Man. That dude reminds me of a version of like he the is, literal bro, Wolverine, mean- dude. Yeah, he's tough. You no, know, I always had my like my reservations on him, and until I I watched him fight Max Holloway, and when he out back boxed Max Holloway, Max, I was like, all right, yeah. motherfucker's the real deal, bro. Oh, he yeah. and Max is a great him, boxer, dude. bro. You know, I mean, oh, Max can as always throw them things. He was faster, stronger. I mean, uh yeah, I, I just think he's a head like a yeah, keyhole. Yeah, yeah, he moves like a fucking the Wolverine. If you would think like what the, the comic book character would move like, that's that's Volkanovsky, man. He's a fucking savage. Um, did you hear about the UFO getting shot yeah. down in fucking Alaska today? What? Legit. Dang. Yeah, no, it's legit, yeah, bro. Yeah, I heard about that shit. They said it's like the size car of size an, an object. They said it was car size and they literally cannot describe it to you. You guys already talk about the fucking weather balloon? It's not a weather balloon, bro. It's not... No, yeah, we, we brought it up. Yeah, we brought it up. Yeah. That shit. It's, it's not a yeah, yeah. it's like a That's car so crazy, sized bro. unmanned object. Yeah. Unknown object. Yeah. Yeah, that F twenty two little sidewinder missile yeah. took that bitch out, yeah. but yeah, nobody in it though. I mean, you know, I mean 
Well, gonna, was it? Well, was it? A drone? Well, out. was it? I mean, like, the real question is, what the fuck was it? Oh, uh, well, that's a so, fucking big ass drone. If that's what it was. No yeah. shit. If that's what China's got, it's a Jesus. <laughs> um, how did you get into the fight? You watching PFL or what? P- what is it? PFL. You guys watching PFL over there or what? Not yet. That that's the new fight league, bro. I haven't really, I haven't oh, really I haven't dug into it. it. No. I haven't dug into it. I'm waiting for Jake's shit. Uh, uh. Yeah. So I think PFL's you know, legit, bro. I think Jake. I think Jake Paul's a hundred and twenty five thousand percent legit, bro. I think the guy, whatever he got's going on, is. No, Jake I Paul. That, uh... I'm just saying Jake Paul in general, dude. So that that fight contract that he signed, man. I don't think. I think that whole league is gonna be fucking huge, dude. That's I... PFL. Yeah, I think that I think the whole yeah. league is gonna blow up, bro. Oh, that's PF. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah well, we're gonna I mean, watch they that. Already are, right? I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're the ones that are getting ready to sign Francis Ngannou too. I mean, I think so too. They pay yeah, their multi fight deal, yeah, and it's gonna be like a six fight deal I mean, or some shit. Uh it's crazy. Yeah. You're seeing athlete like the fighters like going over to promotions almost like fucking draft cards with the NFL and NBA. It's weird, bro. You gotta it's go crazy. Where the money's yep. at, dude. Well, You're using your body. You know, it's crazy. PFL's it feels out there weird. Giving people million dollar bonuses to win. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's a crossover aspect. People want to know who's the, who has a better fucking combat sport. You know, the boxing's leading yeah, the fucking way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm so, pair so, so for sure, dog. Yeah. So I, know your, I know it's your podcast, and you normally ask the questions. Well, who you guys got in this uh, Trout Sanchez fight? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. I got some uh, Trout, man. You're going Trout. Yep. Trout. Just because, just because that, I'm gonna go Sanchez. Fuck it. I got, I, I got Trevor. I like Diego Sanchez. I like, I like Diego a lot. Dog, as a cool dude, I like what he says. I like what he's preaching. I like, I like his attitude towards life. But do I think Austin Trout has him? Absolutely, I do, dude. <laughs> yeah, I just think yeah. Austin Trout is just a better fighter all the way around. That footwork's gonna be disgusting, bro. Austin Trout. Yeah, he's it's gonna be tough. A tough, tough, tough fucking fight for for Sanchez, man. For yeah, sure. bro. I, absolutely. Boy, for sure. Yeah, we, we're also uh, we got a uh, we're, we're putting some guys on uh, game bread boxing too. Some of our guys will be huge, on that, so. dude. That's for that coming up. That's fucking sick. Yeah. Um, yeah. I- yeah. We got the plug over there, so we're getting our guys some exposure over there. That'll be some you know good payday, good box match, boxing matches, and you know um, get them some experience, gloves on, and uh, yeah, you'll you'll cool, see some man. of the guys out of BKFC work their way over there. No, that's gonna be sick. Um, so do you got any fucking future plans for GWA in general for like major announcements coming up this year? Uh I don't I don't think you've given out any interviews that I know of. Do you want to announce anything in particular on the show? Um no nah, man, I mean we're gonna keep you know the trajectory going. We're taking shit over. I mean, uh, uh we're gonna continue to sign fighters, we're gonna get into different combat sports, not just BKFC. We're gonna continue to grow, you know. I mean um, we've, we've already started mo- uh, matching up boxing matches in Florida. So, you know, we're stepping into pro boxing right now. Um, you got any major signings that, then, you, that, you, that you have any, um, clue in on that you might, without, we could be keeping an eye out for, um, not, nothing, nothing yet, but there, there are some, some signings in the works for sure. Sweet. Hell yeah. You, you'll be the first to know. Fuck yeah. That's let's right. go, baby. So um, yeah, I mean. And we got, we got a lot of guys. We got a lot of guys running for straps this year, bro. I mean, you know, Richie should. Um, Gogo's going to be running for a strap oh, yeah. this year. Ryan Reber's going to be running for a strap this year. I mean, you know, we've we got talked, a lot of We've talked to the other side. You know, we've talked to the other side. Palomino camp. We've talked to the Palomino camp a couple times, man, and they seem well aware of the Gogo situation, man. So um, it sounds like it's almost inevitable. Oh, hell yeah. It has to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's gotta be like yeah. They're right. well aware yeah. Of the situation, I want mean, Gogo's a fucking animal, bro. And and you know, I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, we'll see. We'll see if it's Palomino. We'll see if it. We'll see if it's Palomino that he ends up fighting, right? Because Palomino's got two belts. And to be honest with you, every anybody with two belts, champ, champ, doesn't make business sense for BKFC. You can you have less title fights, right? Right. So. You kind of want to minimize that, so I think Palomino's going to have to be more active or get, get give up one of those belts. So, you know, I, I figure maybe Gogo and uh, the winner out of uh, Jake and Connor Tierney will uh, fight for the interim. 
That and would be a good. We'll that would be good scraps right there. Jake Paul. Who the fuck? Who no. Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. See Lindsay. That's a good fight. I feel like. Um. Uh. What the fuck was I just thinking? Uh. No. No. It's Connor so Tierney. He kind of took a disappearance. You, you, did you? Do you, you have any word on that? Or any thought on that? Any process? No. That? Not really, man. I mean, he put he put a video out about him struggling with enjoying combat sports and on his page on his social media you know that he, he don't really like that. fighting and he, he doesn't really enjoy it man so um you know that's a shitty mindset to have especially going into a to a big fight so you know hopefully he finds his passion again and he puts on a show when he gets in there um you know i, I really like the dude i think he's a very skilled boxer um he's got some grit you know he he can he can take it as well as give it but you know, I mean, you got to be in the right frame of mind if you're going to step into the ring and put that shit on the line. So, you know, hopefully he figures that shit out before March 4th. Um, you know, this was just a couple weeks ago. Shit, he was already in camp when he was posting it. And, uh, right. Right. you know, I mean, hopefully he digs deep and figures it out. But it doesn't it look like he was back this like morning. Somebody he's going to be around long term. Well, yeah, that's what I seen. It was just like he was in a weird hiatus, man. I even tried to reach out at one point and said, hey, bro, we still got I mean, like. Nothing, dude. Like, I, it was weird. Dude. I mean, like, I see. I know that fighters have a moment, but like, they never really ghost out like that unless they look like they're taking something like a like a break serious, like a serious fucking break. I was wondering if you had any word on that. Well, he definitely his first love is fishing, so that's pretty much what the fuck he does every day, all the time. <laughs> seems to be a common theme in fighters, man. Dude, right? Really, yeah, really they I all love the, the fucking the fish. I don't know why it's weird. From- it's a mental break from warfare. It's just peaceful. They all know, do it, bro. It's weird. it's weird. It's a real yeah, common yeah. theme, bro. Come man says, I spend my day fishing and hunting. <laughs> yeah. Come man, they were talking Stop. about that one day, and I was like, am I the only person in this fucking room that has their fishing license? And I was, too. Like, you were. Because <laughs> it is. Like, you just- what, though, bro? Like, Dude, I still yeah, <laughs> yeah. This guy's the only one that's like he's our creative. You know, you can tell he's the he's the creative mind of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shane, do you watch Super Bowl? Yeah, man, I'll watch it. I'm a little salty. I'm a Niners fan, so we lost our quarterback in the first quarter. I had a last, feeling he was going to say that too. Man. And, uh, Going for yeah, yeah, yeah. Diehard Niners fan, bro. So that was a that's a shitty fucking way to lose the game. You know, you didn't just get. You know, you, you really don't know who the cheap better ass team shit, bro. was, huh? That was it. That all the, all the games, that, dude. The whole playoffs felt cheated, bro. All, all like yeah. it doesn't feel real. Dude, I yeah, like- I don't know, man. I think uh, if I got a pick in the Super Bowl, I'd, I think I'm pick Philly, and it only just be and not because I really think that they're the better team. But uh, actually, Mahomes has really surprised me this year, man. He lost Tyree Kill and. You know, he still put up the numbers that he put up. (laughs) I fucking hate that guy, dude. He's so good, though, dog. Hate him or love him. That dude is the fucking – he's going to be one of the goats when it's all said and done, bro. So, you know, I mean, and shit, then he came out and with a high ankle sprain and still fucking killed it. I don't know how the fuck he did that. I don't but he's a freak that uh yeah that that game pissed me off. My wife's a Bengals fan. <laughs> he wasn't gonna make the sixty yard field goal, but yeah, let's push him out of fucking <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think I mean, you know, uh, Kansas City's offensive line is gonna struggle. The the uh the Eagles are good in the trenches on both sides of the ball, and that's where the game's kinda won most of the time. And Jalen Hurts hard to stop. I mean he, he's only got to throw the ball 10, 15 times, and they'll put up 40 fucking points. He'll just run it in on you all day. If they have to, that's for sure. I got a question for Gorilla and Shane in general. When is the next time that you're going to be out in public at a BKFC event so fans can get out and get to, to know the owner behind the brand? 317, Delray Beach. There you go. That's the next one. That's when he's going to be that's the next one. Experience, man. So um, be sure to check out Gorilla. Um, I I don't have a whole lot more. Uh, I have a question that I don't think I was actually aired because I think we were talking before this. But like, how did you run across us? Oh yeah, that's a fair no, question. question. To be like, hey, okay, yo, uh, now that you're flowing, I got a question too. What made you want to sponsor me? Yeah, good question, dog. I didn't want to. Well, so 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 I seen you guys on Instagram. I mean, I seen you guys through like fighters pages and things like. Like that, and then, and then you know I was watching you, some of you guys' stuff, and then um, I think what sealed the deal was the was 
the lion's not a sheep hat ordeal. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you see you guys with the lion? Hell no. Oh, He's at, yeah. yeah, I said, take that shit off. I'll send you some real shit. Yeah, but let me just say something as a consumer. Like, these are my best friends and all, but these guys are fucking loyal. Like, they go hard for the fight world. Like, they got their knack for the fight world. Like, they're all in, bro. Like, yeah, you know, yep. this point, nah, I promise you won't, bro. Like, they're with the yeah, shit. no doubt, bro. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, you guys are, you guys, your guys' oh, trajectory is the same as ours, man. We're going, you know, take it's the takeover. That's right. That's it's fucking right, bro. Three. Dude, thanks for the. I say like, everybody's hey, wearing gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we grew up from nothing, bro. So for this, hundred percent, like that shit means a lot, and like we do appreciate like anybody uh, that wants to sponsor or like represent us, bro. That shit means a lot for real. Yeah, no doubt. From nothing, bro. Like no one ever has hopes or we have another slide. You know what I mean? Oh, like, duh, I dog. It's, yo, we got get, we got more content, dude. It's basically we got a dope show, bro. Fog. I was sad. I was sad, dude. I was like, we're out of content already, bro. What the fuck? Oh, dude, uh, uh, so uh so you found us through uh Instagram. Do you know what's the coolest part about that, dude? Is that like I like to put this out here is that we don't fucking advertise, bro. No, this is organic, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is truly yeah. word of mouth. Yo, these so guys are fucking have sick. A, so have all of all the followers. Yeah. Comes in, we'll we have legends lot. who fuck with us, dude. We're like, yo, they pass us to another legend, bro. Yeah, Which is no, fucking sure. sick, dude. So I want to shine on to the people that have allowed us to happen. You know what I mean? We just dude. had two legends on tonight. Fuck they talking about. Hella, <laughs> dog. On oh, God. Uh, but the reality is, is that we never fucking, we never advertised ourselves, bro. You guys oh, did man. it for us, bro. That's this that's a, the legitimate. This was a dream, and then we got the team, and now here we are. Yeah. You know what I mean? The now takeover. The right, man. Yo, it, it all starts with with something small, and then, dude, I'll tell you right now, man, Guerrilla Warfare, bro, this shit, that shit started with a fucking vinyl cutter and a fucking heat press in a garage, bro. That's how that shit started. You know what I'm saying? So, it starts with it starts with a small investment and, and, and a fucking and a mind and a drive that you can't stop. And and uh, you know, I mean, I've always been in business and I've always loved combat sports, so I kind of combined them, and it, it just you know, That's I why mean, this it's taken off. Makes but sense, bro. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. why it makes yeah. fucking sense. And it's going to make a lot of dollars. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just got to have drive, bro. You got to, you know, there's going to be a lot of doors that close on you, but you guys got to keep pushing. There's not, a lot, there's not a lot of opportunity in Great Falls, Montana, to be real. I'm from Rock Hill, South Carolina, bro. Like, I grew up yeah. <laughs> coming out here. Bro. I love cuz, dude. I swear. <laughs> Run, bro. I had kids and I'm stuck. Like, but these are my brothers. Like, these fools, like, Came from nothing, just like me. Like, but worse because that—that's the thing, though, bro. No matter where you're at, Great Falls, no matter where you're at, and nobody, no matter where you are, Great Falls, Montana. You're in fucking Alaska. You're wherever the fuck you're at because of the internet and the and the influence that you can put out. You got the reach. Your your reach, man, is 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 unlimited. You just got to put in the fucking time and put the right content out and make the right connections and meet the right people. You got to keep fucking grinding. Well, because yeah, of yeah. well, because of people like you, we're gonna get the opportunity to start marketing ourselves. Well, it takes and, people, and we're gonna fucking yeah. grow it crazy takes, this year, it dude. Takes people like this guy to believe in someone like us who has nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like, where the fuck we come from? Nothing, bro. Like, it's sick, huh? So for someone, I came from a camper in a so tent, bro. That's why I put that story on my Instagram. I, I said, "Oh God, me and my brother moved to Montana in a 32 foot camper, bro. 26, 26. 26. There worse. you go. There you go. Say this to say that for you to put." You're fucking visioning all these guys and have faith in them, bro. That shit means a lot, bro. Now I appreciate you as a consumer, bro. I'm just we all going up as hell, yeah, cuz. The show. All right. I I gotta say, fucking for me, Thailand, the fucking Levi, I like. Without you, motherfuckers. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Hey man, have you have you ever seen that meme of when uh Bernie's day out? You know, you know that you know that old nineties movie when he's like that 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 guy that oh, yeah. Yeah. Bernie's yeah. That's our Christian, bro. <laughs> that's Saturday <laughs> night with Christian. <laughs> that's our Bernie. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. How many twisted teas does boy have, bro? Say it again. <laughs> what was that? How many bro? twisted teas this man has? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many twisted teas does he have? <laughs> oh, these are Twisted T guys, bro. They need sponsorships. <laughs> I got that strong gallon right here. Water, baby. 
<laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. He's been pushing for a PBR fucking sponsorship uh, for a minute. I asked something about uh, the Tate brothers. Get on it. I just wanted to shine some light. I was, you know, um, with the the Tate brothers being arrested and these like there's no evidence. If regardless if they're guilty or not guilty right now, those are American citizens that are being held in another country with zero evidence in Romania. What? No, they live in Romania. No, it doesn't matter. They're there are U.S. citizens, bro. You know what I mean? They're U.S. citizens being held on zero evidence. They don't have no fucking evidence, bro. They their lawyer yeah, came out and I they mean, went on public and was like, "Yo, their lawyers like, there's no evidence holding with they, they they should not be arrested right now and detained. They should be going to trial, yes, but not detained. There's no evidence to detain these guys." But that's another country. They don't yeah, well, I mean, we'll see we'll see how it plays out. But I think at the end of the day, those dudes are smart enough to get themselves out of the situation. If not, you know, uh, <laughs> our president is rich just, Our president will just give away half our fucking army or something to pull them out of there. So, huh, you know, huh. I want to go on record, bro. I'm I'm the only one that I know that was talking about it until like recently, like till today. My mom found somebody. She's a, she dives deep into the same shit I do. She's a conspiracy little nut. But is yeah. how much how how much is a conspiracy when it ends up becoming true a lot of times? So like, anyways, she fucking was looking. She's like, yo, someone's preaching what you're preaching, and I've been saying, dude, that on this spy shit, dude, we're being betrayed by our fucking neighbors, and uh, I believe that one thousand percent. That's why there was one down in uh, Latin America, and then that's where one came out of Canada. There's no reason for those our neighbors to fucking love us. We've treated them like shit. I believe Canada has Chinese fucking soldiers letting those things off in their fucking country. I want that to go on record for real. I pay attention, to you guys. It's for real. We got some real shit going on in our lives, and our home, Montana, was invaded by our neighbors Let letting. Yeah, like Canada letting fucking Chinese fucking spy. Yeah, they have in. elite okay. trainers in Canada for the last four so, years. Oh, their excuse was, oh, we don't want to shoot down the balloon. Bro, why'd it get so far into Canada? Bro, why the fuck wouldn't you shoot down in Montana where we're at? Like, there's so much desolate Idaho. No there's shit, so you get desolate. over Great Falls, yeah, you with that you bitch rip. <laughs> I just think, you know, I, I think we should stay aware of ourselves, you guys. Let's not get too distracted in politics because we're going to the moon this year and fuck all that shit. We don't need any of that shit. So we're the only warfare we need is in the fucking ring, dog. Hey, how'd they know that shit was from China? Right, right. And they let, yeah, they want to blow it up where we could see it. I, I'll tell you how they knew it was from China, though. That shit had a Lions Not Sheep logo on the side of that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell me you've seen those peepas. Yeah. Hey, man, we're, we're huge. Like, do you know who Fools Gone Wild are, man, living in L.A.? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, they're the kings, baby. Uh, so, dude, when I made that peepa, that peepa stick coming out of Hunter yeah, Biden's mouth, that, 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 that was the funniest that, fucking dude, shit in the world, dog. That, that was I said, I said, look at it closely. It's a fucking peepa. <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the fucking world, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um. What you got, big boy? What you got? So, um, I have a bunch of these screenshotted for you know adver- advertisement reasons, but you sent like four of them. That I have screenshot of. Let's go. Yeah, you dropped us some sick Christmas presents today, bro. Dude, yeah, we just got Yeah, this. no doubt. I, I got that. Uh, that Let's shine some light on some of this merch. You already know what it is. Right? You already know what it is. Woo! The hoss? Jeez, calm down, big fella. I know, right? Hey, that shirt looks good on him, man. Fits yeah, primo. Yeah. Perfect. That's right. Real hey, how many, how, many, how, many of the, how many came for you, Levi? Just one? Just the one, one so yeah. Far. Yeah, you got you got more coming. Oh hey, yeah, yeah. It, it fits primo yeah, too, man. He looks good as fuck in it, man. Yeah, this is what's uh, that? That three X. Big sexy oh, boy. He's big hoss, man. That's a five yeah, X, cuz. That's a five X. That's how you know your guerrilla warfare knows about the big boys, hey, man. Back to your shirt is so hard. That against call. Show that shit right? out. Dude, I'm digging this. <laughs> there's that, this there's the XL in there. I fucking. Yeah. He never gets excited, Shane. This guy's all like, you know, he never gets excited about shit. And he's all like, what? The fact that, like, this is Christmas. The fact that he put it on is even crazier. Because he usually, like, with he the refuses thing. to put on our own <laughs> logos. He just wanted to keep. I Tell him what. I'm going to say that. <laughs> I mean, look, I tried to buy this shirt. They was like, nah, nope. I said, that's our first drop. You can't do it. I got to take that shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, <laughs> uh, no shade. Yeah, we got, we're going to have some more shit coming for you guys too, man. I mean, we're looking to collab some more and, and get some more weekly bus shit out. So, I mean, shit's been hectic as fuck this week with all the Delray Beach matchups coming. But hell uh, yeah, bro. As soon as you got like you got like a month break in between uh in between Virginia and in uh, April, so uh, the Denver card. So you know, twenty fourth of March, and then the next one's not till uh, the 29th of April. So it'll be a little bit slower. Then I can kind of get back on the on the on the grind for merch. Let's and go. Start dropping some new shit. Uh, shout out to Mission Accomplished, man. They jumped in the show and they wanted to say hi. Uh, so shout out to those boys. And uh, they're our guys. brothers in guerrilla yeah. warfare. Levi, before, you know, you know, we're on with our sponsor, but let's shine some light and you go ahead and give us an ad, baby. Let's go. Oh, you can do that? <laughs> man, shop in Great Falls, Montana. Four locations, two in Great Falls, one in Hell and one in Billings for that. That's 20 past four. Warfare, yeah, the, drill. Warfare, the best gear in the fight world. Join us for 2023 because we are taking it. That's right. Hey, I got a question though. Who's your favorite boxer all time? Favorite what? Boxer. Favorite boxer. The, you know, man, I, I honestly think I'd have to say Sugar Shane Mosley is probably my favorite. Oh, wow. Uh, Damn, that's a, you don't get that one. By, nah, you'd never get that, dude. Yeah, man. Sure but, Ray Leonard. That's, Mosley that's was tight, guy, though, bro. man. Mosley was tight. He got Boy. robbed in the fucking day, or in the Roy Jones. shot. And, you know, I mean, Boxing? he no, fucked Dale Hoy up a few times. Oh, yeah. hold, on, hold on, hold on. I want to hear, hear Shane's explanation. Oh, I mean, Sugar Shane, so naturally right i there mean you go, okay. but you know i mean he he fought great competition bro i mean you know de la hoya kodos the you know he he rocked fucking mayweather he's the only person i've seen rock mayweather i have um, i think oscar did i think oscar actually beat floyd dude floyd's my favorite yeah. floyd's my favorite fighter too but i think that's the only fight he lost for floyd do you think he's it's crazy to see how dominant like how dominant canelo is now and then you go back and watch him fight mayweather that's yeah. how good Mayweather was, man. Mayweather was so fucking good, bro. Do you think he's more yeah. of a runner, or do you think he's strategical? I think who he, Floyd? Yeah, Floyd. That's my favorite boxer. Bro. Floyd's the best defensive fighter he ever. Beat him up the first five rounds, and he's gonna fight. He don't get touched he's though. He's gonna find how you fight, and that he's is, gonna that is true. he's that gonna is wait true. till you're that fucking tired, and he's gonna beat yep. you the fuck up. Yep. Dead yep. ass. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's Floyd. That's yep. my favorite boxer, and I fucking Hell yeah. put yeah. That, that, that is true. That is true. Dead ass. Why is yours, Roy? Yo, Floyd. A lot of people. Roy say Roy Floyd knows. Floyd fight IQ. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let let let's hear the man. The roof, bro. Floyd fight IQ through the roof. The dude, the dude don't know his ABCs, but if you step in the ring, bro, <laughs> smart as a motherfucker. Bro. He is, dude. Hey, and and he'll, he'll take first three rounds off to find his range and and figure you out and get your timing, and then he's gonna pick you the fuck apart, and it's, you're gonna have a bad fucking night, man. I mean, uh -huh. Floyd's, yeah, Floyd's good. And that's a simple fact. He's gonna figure you out, yeah. and he's gonna fuck. Oh, he figures everybody out. I'm excited for his next fight, dude. Actually, and it sounds janky because I hate the exhibition he's shit. I uh, he's fighting here, isn't he? Asia? No, I think no, I thought it was in the uh or in the, in the, such just Floyd Mayweather pro, uh, promotions, but I thought it was in London. What's no, it? that's already happened, right? No, the Yuli thing. Yuli's under. Oh yeah, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because Yuli's under. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what um, is really but I didn't get to finish the like sponsor show. So I mean, he has expedition. Uh, those ex those exhibition that's fights. So they don't matter. They don't matter. Yeah. Yeah, they're garbage. They don't, they don't, but yeah. I mean, I'll say, I mean, Mike Tyson's a close second, man. Iron Mike, you hey. know, watched him growing oh up. Oh my god, Mike Tyson and Floyd, my favorite. <laughs> Tyson is his universal. I love Tyson, who he became as an older person. I love Tyson. He's such a good dude. Tyson used to hear some history about Tylen. When I was in ninth grade, uh, everyone else was making fucking like heads of themselves and shit, dude. I was in love with boxing. I made a Mike Tyson statue head and, <laughs> and with this tattoo the year he got his tattoo. No, no, he wasn't smiling, bro. He was mad. Uh, he had a tattoo on the side of his fucking face, man. I loved it, dude. It, it, it was, it was first, sick. Yeah, my fucking art teacher was like, that's the sickest head that you anyone's ever done here. <laughs> it looked just like Mike. Dude. It was tight. Mike wanted. Yeah, Iron Mike's the man, bro. <laughs> I did, too. Did you hey, see that? My favorite uh, thing about Mike, he did DMT. 
He's so yeah, he's he most. does not have any ego now. Yeah, he's most peaceful fucking. He'll still beat you up ever. on the plane. He will beat you up, dude. I thought he was gonna beat up yeah. Bobby Smurder recently, dude. That's what made yeah. me want to try DMT. Mike Tyson, bro. He was like, I licked the toad. And now, if you see his like podcast, he's such a cool, laid back. He about beat up Bobby in his podcast about the other day, though. Bobby Smurder was boring. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Bobby Smurder. I do fuck with you, dude. Yeah, he, the Bobby fucks with me. And I fuck with Bobby, so I'm not gonna say shit about Bobby. See the Bobby Smurda. Uh, uh, he almost got slapped up by Mike. <laughs> That'd be a bad day. Interview. Uh uh-uh. uh. He was like, "You're homophobic against uh like uh Dwayne Wade's kids and shit." Oh yeah, Dwayne Wade. Yeah. You know how hard Boosie is. Yeah. Like Boosie don't care. But he had him in a strict situation. Like <laughs> Boosie, Boosie's not too far, bro. Like, but Mike had that. Who hemmed up like he was like I don't know what to say like yeah it's just crazy bro now that we're on the Mike has that power oh here we go you came from have you, have you ever done DMT done what DMT DMT, DMT. no nah. now you never done DMT nope uh well uh uh <laughs> uh yeah uh, I I would I think it's medicinal for everyone. You're safe. I feel like you got to treat it correctly, but yeah, you think if you're searching for it, they'll find you. Oh, well, that's true. That's very true. But don't, don't go out of your way. For yeah. The only yeah, reason yeah. I'm interested is because it has an ego block. It oh, takes fuck. your. It takes it's your. Way ego. more than that. It dude. takes your. No, but I want my ego gone, bro. Like I feel like I would be a way better person if my. Ego <laughs> was gone. You know what I mean? Hey like, man, I feel like my I'm boy like, is a firecracker, dog. <laughs> bro, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And hits LSD. That's what did it. Nah, we don't listen to your fucking device. And I left with it. We listen to your device. Don't listen to this. That's why I sit back here and I don't say much. We know. Shane, thank you for offering your time tonight, my boy. Let me finish. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, yeah. Kill the sponsorship. We got Guerrilla Warfare Apparel. The best gear in the fight world. Yep. Join us in 2023 because we are. Let's do it. Thank you. All right. But use our <laughs> promo code TWB10 for 10% off at checkout. That's right. Again, that's TWB10 at checkout. Shane, do you have anyone you want to shout out? He does. Uh, no, nah, just, you know, the, the squad, the fight team. Uh, shout out Ryan Perez, Slaughterhouse. Gorilla Slaughter there, Management. You know. Look it up. Gorilla Slaughter Management, we're taking shit over this year. Um, <laughs> that's really it, man. Just get ready for Knuckle Mania. Man, Jared Grant's about to put on a hell of a fucking Cam show. 3, you can expect us there. GWB, baby. Everything's booked. We ready to take off the Wednesday. Burr. Yeah, fuck. We're stoked, man. We're stoked, stoked. Um, I, I guess I'll just add in uh, Kyle Hudson, man. Um, Shout out to Hudson Stress Removal. If you live in the Great Falls area, this guy is the best in the business. He'd be glad to clean up your trash. And to the lovely Jamie St. Marks. Our As day one. Day one. Love you. Uh, Shane, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, and thanks for being yeah, no fucking patient. And we we would love to have you on again when we get some exciting shit going on and so you can announce it to the world. Yep, no doubt. I'll use you guys for the uh for the next drop and when we get some some of these big signings going and uh I'll holler at you and we'll set something up. Hell yeah. Bad on that. Um say less. We'll we'll get it figured out. Hell yeah. I- Bro. All right, boys. Have a good night, right, brother. Later. Peace.